many thousands of years, the Shadow Men have protected the world of the living against threats crossing over from the spiritual plane known as Deadside, the place where everyone goes without exception when they die. Michael Lenoir is the current heir to the mysteries of this ancient lineage, bearer of the Mask of Shadows. When darkness falls, he becomes the walker between the worlds, immortal voodoo warrior, taker of souls, lord of Deadside, the Shadow Man. Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking, welcome to the DC Nerd, and today I got a let's play for you guys to kick off 2022. And, and today's let's play we're going to play Shadow Man Remastered. Oh man, I have waited this for a very long time. For those who follow my channel back in 2019 and wondering, DHC, did you play this game like two years ago, three years ago? Yes, I have. And the reason for that is because, um, the reason behind that is because, um, there's three reasons for that. One, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a microphone at the time. I didn't talk for anything, so it's nothing that, with no commentary, basically. Two, I, I learned this for a long time because I want to play this on the PlayStation so on PC, and the reason for that is because I, I have the game on PC, but the problem is the game just crashes on me on there. And I don't know what's the reason, basically, because my PC is a kind of ancient, semi ancient, you can say. And three, it's just, you know, I wanted to play this on the PlayStation 5 with my new hardware. And after that's pretty much the reason why, and there you guys have it. We're gonna play Shadow Memory Master on the PS5. And man, it looks really good. I'm actually excited to play this. And lastly, I want to give a shout out to Tim Haywood and Night Dive Studios for mastering this game. This is one of my all time favorite childhood games I played. This is one of my, my first two, actually. So, other than that, we're going to begin a new adventure, so, um, furthermore, we're definitely talking, let's just stick to the gameplay, shall we? The 9th of November, 1888. By my deeds am I known, and I am known as Jack. spring Jack. Jack the Ripper. By my deeds am I known, and they are truly bloody. I took them all to my heart. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly, and loved them, truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the sordid confines of their bodies, the still beating organ of the soul was not to be found. The ritual of the knife was to no avail. I am bereft and must therefore perform that bloody ritual upon myself. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? My name is Legion, for we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within the soul, but only within certain ones, certain dark souls. My God! What are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pain. A place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. And at the heart of asylum, we shall construct a great dark engine powered by souls of equal hue. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil, in the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond, in the place known as Deadside. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail. For we are many. For we are many! Amen to that. Zane! 
end is sooner than you think. Come to mama, baby. Hey there, Captain. Me if you can. <laughs> There's a darkness coming. What's the problem, Magneta? I had a dream, Shadowman. A real bad dream. A dead side dream. The five are here. The heralds of the apocalypse. Deacon's file confirms everything I feared. The end's common, Shadowman. An ancient prophecy tells of the return of a great evil to dead side. A terrible force gathering dark souls to its darker heart and using their power to cross over into this world and bring about apocalypse. I must stop this evil from bringing about the end of all things. Only you can do it, Shadow Man. You are the walker between the worlds. I can't go dead side, and Jaunty's next to useless in both worlds. You are the only one who can do anything about this. As it ever was. But you ain't never confronted anything like this evil. It's so pure, not even the ancient protectors of the Dark Souls could destroy it. They could only banish it from dead side. They knew it'd come back one day. Hence the prophecy telling of its return. The power of the ancients is all but gone now. And the Dark Souls that evil desires lie unprotected. What you gotta do, Shadow Man, is to go dead side and recover the Dark Souls. Take them into your own protection before evil gathers them to its terrible heart. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I don't recover these dark souls, then the world's gonna end. Am I right? You got it. Shit. Look, I gotta go. I've got a lot to do. Take Deacon's file and meet me at dawn at the church on the hill. I've kept your stuff safe for you. hate this shit. Just a pawn in Nettie's master plan. She moves me in mysterious ways. And brother, sometimes she really does move me. Can't do nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I got nothing left anyways. My fault Luke's dead, and mom and pop too. I deserve everything I get. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live. Can't die. Dead sides are perfect good for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. <laughs> now where the hell is that church? Alright then, so here we go. The very first level. We're in the buyout. So, um... I like explain what's going on in those cutscenes, so right now just look at the graphics, my man, the game looks actually really good. Alright, this right here is a Kato. You collect 100 of these for extra health, but a total of 666. I hope all, most of them are in the same place as it was in the 64 version, hopefully. But yeah, um, I think if you get all of them, you, you unlock an achievement, if I'm correct, so let's go and get the first one. So let me explain through those cutscenes, uh, what was going on. The first cutscene, the, oh yeah, before I do, um, oh yeah, if you miss your jump, if you make it, this is what happens. Damn. <laughs> I just want to show that, so, um, so anyways, the cutscenes, um, the first one, the guy with the blade, his name is Legion. I think he's based off, um, I think, person for the Bible, because I think it's his line for We Are Many is actually part of a quote in the Bible. I forgot what section, you know, but... Oh! Did I just knock that out from my own head? I didn't know that. That's something new. That never happened in the original, the 64. But anyway, so Legion talks to that other guy, the architect. His name is Jack. He's also known as Jack the Ripper. He's going to be one of the, the five serial killers that to kill later on in the game, but... Let me explain why Legion wants to see him. So Legion wants to see Jack because um, he wants to build an asylum in the Cathedral of Pain. And uh, whoa! Oh my god, I forgot about that dog. <laughs> Man, oh my god, the sun was really good. So they finally added a sun. The original the 64 didn't have that. So, anyways, um, he's asking Jack to build a Cathedral of Pain so he pretty much killed himself to go to Dead Side to help him build that. As for the other cutscene, Nettie, um, Michael Lawrence, um, Anetta, 
he uh she uh she had a, a nightmare that the five are here. Those little ghostly thing that you guys saw in the, while she's sleeping, that's pretty much what happened. She was having a nightmare, so and she's telling um Shadow Man here to collect the dark souls. And if you're wondering why do you need to collect these dark souls, it's because Legion is trying to gather them and try to use them for the dark engine and, and probably destroy life side. So, uh, well, yeah, pretty much like that. So, um, that's what Lady wants him to collect those dark souls. So, all right, we got seven cattle. The cave look good too, and the lamp. I like the lighting. That that that's well done, to be honest. Made it. And here we are at the church again. So, you got all these Rottweilers. They look all good. They definitely look like Rottweilers. Cause in the '64 version, they ain't nothing look like Rottweilers. But let's collect this cattle so we don't forget. So um, let's go ahead. I don't wanna. And the dog. If you hit the dog, they just gonna follow you. But if you shoot them, that's when they gonna turn against you. So I don't know if you wanna shoot them or not for your protection. Let's go inside the church and meet with Nettie. Nettie. Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agnetta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you, and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the signs. You got my stuff? Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army would bring to the Earth? That's Apocalypse, Shadow Man. That's the end. Okay, okay. So I really gotta get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that. But where do I find them? In Govi. Each Govi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the dark soul within. Believe me, I've tried. But a Shadow Man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the dark soul and take it into yourself. But be warned, the dark souls are a pure and ancient evil and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? Right here. Jesus, Luke! He's alive! Alive and in pain! I gotta help him! He's dead, Mike. You know that! I know, but I saw! It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connecting you to the dead side. Use it now, Mike. Go dead side and find Jaunty. He's waiting for you at the narrow gates. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike? Yeah? If you need me, I'll be here. Now. Go see Jaunty and get them Dark Souls. So, um, alright, alright, test to open your inventory. So we just gained two new items. Well, why well, you say three because I never got to display. This one is the Decon's file or Nettie's file. Basically, they just, they just go over on the five silver killers that we mentioned earlier. That's pretty much it. This is Luke's teddy bear. This is where you travel through worlds. So, um, there are a lot of, um, a lot of checkpoints where you can come back here and, and go up to previous levels once you acquire new abilities. And um, afterwards, um, you can come back any time to go to those worlds. So, and lastly, we got ourselves a, our first weapon, the handgun. And in Dead Center, it's gonna transfer to the shadow gun. So let's have this equipped for once. So, so Nettie was explaining about how they're gonna use the Dark Souls. Mike, and use the bear. Go dead side. Not yet. We're gonna explore for a bit before we go to dead side. And these right here are the gold she was mentioning. That's how you um, that's how you require Dark Souls. How you can't do anything. The reason why is because you need your shadow powers to open them. You're gonna find out later on how it's done. So let's go and push this box and start um collecting here. So the reason I'm not going to go to Dead Side left is because I'm going to collect everything that's here. It can, there's a shotgun in this level too, so um, I'm not going to shoot the dogs, but there are alligators we're going to encounter around, so 
Let's go ahead and make our way back and let's head to the to the old boat. So yeah, um, man, I, f I just love this game so much. This is how you master a game. I gotta get props to Night Dive Studios, and the wait was worth it. Cause I know they they make their announcement back in 2020, and they released it for on the PC in April 2021. So how they say they're gonna release the console and release the console in 2020. One, however, though they didn't release it till this month, it but it was worth it though. Yeah. It's worth the wait, so it's because um I don't want the game with glitches or anything like that. So I just use Luke's bear and go dead side. So as I say, was um they did a really good job. I'm glad they I, the wait was worth it because I don't want to see no glitches or bugs mm, in this game. Um, what's a bad example? Um. That's a good example of a new record. Oh, the GTA like the GTA. I mean, excuse me, GTA Trilogy Definite Edition. That game was a disaster. So, they those developers need to take notes from Night Dive. That's how you master a game. I freaking love this so far, man. So, so we gotta collect everything. We go. Oh, the reason I didn't go down because that's where it takes us back to the beginning of the game. And um, okay, there's. I'm trying not to shoot no rock lightning right now, so... So, anyways, um... We're just gonna collect everything that we can gather before we go to dead side, because I remember everything goes, so... Hell... I think there's a, there's a shotgun ammo, if I'm correct. Alligators! Basically, you get auto-aim, so you're fine, but... I like the little, um... Well, that dog needs to go away, because I'm not trying not to shoot it. That's one alligator down. And you guys wondering, why did you die? You didn't go to dead side early. Because you're not going to be back here. Hmm. Whoa. I ought to go dead side like Nettie suggested. These ways it's safer in this place. Alright, we got to kill all these, all these alligators. Oh my god, dogs! Don't go to my crosshair. I don't want to shoot you. I don't want to shoot dogs because I don't want them to turn against me because... If you watch the original I did um two years ago, oh there's more alligators in the water. If you look like in the in the in the beginning of the um I'm like what oh my god dogs go away Freaking go away They need to go away because I don't wanna shoot them. Cause they're the real reason why I kept die I died that time. Well, anyways, explain the story what happened on my on my last playthrough of this game. Um, I was trying to shoot the alligator and the freaking Rottweiler got in the way, and I got shot to death and I got killed. These dogs need to go. See, they try to get, try to get into the crossfire. Oh my god, these stupid Rottweilers! If I had to kill them, I might as well. <laughs> Where's the Where did that alligator go? I'm trying to... Okay, that... That one's dead. I'm trying to make sure... Okay, at least the, the dog can't go through my way now. I'll take it back, they do. Crap. I'm wasting my time here. Oh, come on, dogs. Go away. I'm trying to shoot these alligators. Alright, at least I killed one of them. There's one more. Go ahead. How many alligators are here? In the 64 version, there's two of them. Oh my god, this dog. I don't want to kill him, because I don't want to die too early. We have to kill that alligator. At least I'm shooting it. We're good. Oh, that's all the alligators in, in this area. Alright, let's see. I think that alligator is dead. Again. No, it's stuck. That alligator is stuck and he's dead. Oh crap, never mind. Oh my god, die! Oh no. We gotta swim for my lives. Oh no! I need oh, air and quick. <laughs> Move, dog! Move! I need some health. Thank Ooh. the Lord. Oh my god, that legit... I think I got a first snipe. 
Yeah, shoot this. Dude! Stupid dogs! Get out of the way! Oh, okay, good. We're clear. I knew there should be no more. Dead side, like Daddy suggested. All right, so there should be no more alligators. <laughs> the water looks good too. I think the only problem I have is kind of hard to swim. I need air and quick. <laughs> okay, okay, I got scared first. That's a dead alligator. <laughs> All right, I got that cattle. Alright, so, in right here, there's a shotgun. I wonder if we're still there. Alright, here we go. Go up. And we're up. There's no shotgun! So I guess they moved the game probably to one of the new levels in the game. So I guess we're not done yet, though. We're gonna get close to the main cattle in the game. In this level, before we head off the dead side. But which I'll do in the next video. Oh my god, look at that dog in the water. Oh my god, those dogs are annoying. They're not much annoying than Nintendo 64, but I didn't know they would go this far, though. <laughs> so basically, you only got three enemies. Alligators and, um, dogs. I need to find the surface pretty damn soon. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh! That's close. Well, yeah, so we, we can't swim that long because, um... How can I say? We don't have enough air, so oh my god, I gotta get used to these controls. I'm wasting my time here. I should just use Luke's bear and go dead side. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I barely made it. I thought I was not gonna make it. All right, so there's a little cave in here, so we gotta make it. So here we go. All right, come on, go down. I need to find the surface pretty damn soon. <laughs> and there you get Okay, we made it. We're almost done with this level, guys. Afterwards, I'm gonna wrap it up and we're gonna go to Dead Side the next video. So, um. There you go. I'm just gonna go here because I'm trying to clip all the cattle so we don't have to go backtrack it. And I, I don't have no problem backtracking because I, re I, re I recognize this game. I played it so many times. I finished it. Even got all the requirements, so. Alright, got more health. Well, there's more health, because that alligator really almost killed me. Oh, good. We're gonna head back to the hill, so, um... I guess that's it. Let me see how much cattle do I have so far. 24. That's enough for now, because, um... We're pretty much, um... We're pretty much fin We just got everything, so, um... Well, then that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if I try to move his. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what he's in, so, um. Mm. Oh, there you go. I want to go dead side like that's how you suggested. do it. All this right. way, it's safer in this place. Alright, so I'm just going to wrap this up here. So, um. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs like new here and my subscribe. This is um part one of Shadow Man Remastered, so as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and welcome to the DH Network. This is your captain speaking, signing out.